So we started this three years ago, and we looked at what our broadheads and the mechanicals did well and what they didn't compared to all the competitors out there. And uh, we knew it was time to raise the stakes, so came up with a dead meat. We uh, put a lot of work and time, and we, we thought all the, the features of a, of a head from uh, durability to aerodynamics to cutting diameter, all those kind of things. What we're really excited about is the snap lock feature. Uh, with the other heads uh, before this, it wasn't real intuitive or simple to use, um, but with this, it's a ball and socket design. So you basically push the blade down or the ball into the little blue retainer, and if you hear it click or feel it click, you know it's in place. If you don't feel that, you don't hear that, you know it's not. In the past, we used to have a one solid monolithic piece for the ferrule. The, the, the tip and the, and the tail were all one piece, which is really nice uh, in a lot of sense. But one of the things that's not is, is now the dead meat is two pieces. We can actually harden and, and use a different material if we wanted up front to be able to keep that tip sharp. Um, but then we could also keep the back end more ductile or, or allow it to flex a little bit. Um, so if you were to hit that, opposing shoulder and that animal was to was to you know start to break away and there's a lot of side load on that um, the back end is going to bend um, a little bit um, and it's going to bend a, a lot before it, it actually cracks to where if it was all monolithic and you had to harden it for the tip well the back isn't going to bend isn't going to bend but then it's going to crack so having it two pieces we can play those games and that's what we we're able to do with the dead meat is get exactly what we want up front and get exactly what we want on the back to have all around the best of both worlds.